this video, I'm planning on showing you how to calculate the atomic weight. You'll also see this called the average atomic mass, and you'll see it called a few other things as well. So try not to get too caught up in the terminology of this. Just realize what you're calculating. So what we're calculating is basically a weighted average. So what is a weighted average? Let's say that like, for instance, your grades are an example of a weighted average. So, for instance, you have homework, you have exams, quizzes. Some classes might have attendance and a final exam. So these are all worth different percentages, and the percentages that they're worth add up to 100. So let's say like the homework is worth 20 percent. So let's say, let's just say these are all worth 20 percent to make it easy. So the percentage, the total percentage of what these are worth adds up to 100. But for instance, for this example, your exams all of your exams added together would only equal 20% of your grade. So now these are all the same, uh, these are all weighted the same. Now let's say maybe the homework is worth 10% and the exams are worth 30%. So, so the percentage of this, and let's also say that, let's say the final is worth 30% and then attendance is worth 10%. So this is 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So the average, these, these percents still add up to 100. And so your final exam would be worth 30% of your final grade. And attendance would be worth 10% of your final grade. So this is an example of a weighted average. So what, like what is the atomic weight? Like what is this a weighted average of? Well, this is a weighted average of, or this is the average atomic mass of the different isotopes in the different elements. So for instance, the example that we're gonna do is for sulfur. So, and if you remember, isotopes are the are the same element that have different mass numbers. So they, they weigh, diff they have different numbers. Each isotope of say sulfur has a different number of neutrons. And so the atomic mass of each isotope is different. And so let's say, okay, so for the sulfur, we have 95% of the sulfur has an atomic mass of 31.972 AMU. Remember, AMU is atomic mass unit. We have 0.76% that has an atomic mass of 32.971 AMU. And we have 4.22% of sulfur atoms that have an atomic mass of 33.967 AMU. So what we want to do is calculate the weighted average of these different isotopes. And this is just like calculating the weighted average of what your grade is. So 10% of your, of your grade is calculated from your homework scores. 30% is from your exams, 20% is from quizzes, 10% is from attendance, and 30% is from the final exam. So if we go over here to, this, to sulfur, 95% of sulfur atoms have an atomic mass of 31.972 atomic mass units. And remember, atomic mass units is just a mass. 0.76% of sulfur atoms have an atomic mass of 32.971 AMU, and 4.22% of sulfur atoms have an atomic mass of 33.967 AMU. 
So all we're doing is calculating the atomic weight or the average atomic mass, which is a weighted average of these different isotopes of sulfur. So the way we do that, and I'm gonna, calc I'm gonna erase this real quick. So the way we do that is we calculate or we multiply the atomic masses. So say this atomic mass, so 31.972, by 0.95. So we want to make sure that, so we multiply the atomic mass by the decimal of the percent. So remember to multiply it by the decimal, so you would multiply this mass, this atomic mass, by 0.95, not 95. And you would multiply this one, so the 32.971 by, and remember, even though this is, this is 0.076%, so this would be 0.76 divided by 100 to get the decimal, multiplied by 32.971, and 33.967 multiplied by the decimal of this, which would be 0.0422. So we divide these percents by 100 to get the number that we multiply the atomic mass by. And then all we do is add these up. And so the way this would look is so we have 95 divided by 100 or you could just write 0.95 but we have 95 divided by 100 multiplied by the 31.972 amu plus and then we have this one so this is 0 0.76 so 0 0.76 divided by 100 multiplied by 32.971 AMU. So this is 32.971 AMU. And then plus, and we have 4.22 divided by 100, multiplied by 33.967 AMU. And so then all you need to do is plug this into your calculator and you should get 32.057 AMU as the atomic weight for sulfur. And so the, the general formula of what we're using to calculate this weighted average is, so the atomic weight or average atomic mass, or if you see it called something else, you'll see this called a few different things. So don't worry, don't get too caught up in the terminology of this. Just realize that we are, what you're doing is calculating a weighted average of the different isotopes for specific elements. So in this case, we calculated the weighted average for sulfur. So the atomic weight is equal to the abundance so this would be the abundance as a decimal. And the abundance is the percentage. So the abundance of this particular um, isotope, the, so the isotope that is 31.972 AMU, there's 95% of that isotope naturally occurring. So we have the abundance as a decimal multiplied by the atomic mass so I'm just going to put the atomic mass of the first one, and this is the abundance of the first one, plus the abundance as decimal. Remember, it's as decimal, that's important. So the abundance as, as decimal of the second one multiplied by the atomic mass of the second one, plus, and then just so on. So abundance as decimal of the third one multiplied by the atomic mass of the third one plus the abundance as decimal of the fourth one multiplied by the atomic mass of the fourth one. So and so on. It, this, this formula just goes for however many different isotopes you have. So in this case we had three isotopes. So the way this fit into this formula just as a recap is we have, so we have sulfur, we have 95% 95, 95 of the sulfur has an atomic mass of 
atomic mass units. 0.76% of the sulfur has an atomic mass of 32.971 AMU, and 4.22% of the sulfur has an atomic mass of 33.967 AMU. So then we said the atomic weight is equal to the 95 as a decimal, so to convert that to a decimal, we divided it by 100. So 95 divided by 100 multiplied by the atomic mass of the first one, so that was 31.972 AMU, plus the abundance as decimal of the second one, which is 0 0.76 divided by 100, multiplied by the atomic mass of the second one, which is 32.971 AMU, plus, and then the third one is 4.22 divided by 100, because we have 4.22 percent, multiplied by the atomic mass, which is 33.967 AMU, and then just putting this into your calculator, you get 32.057 AMU. So this is how you would calculate the atomic weight of sulfur, knowing the different sulfur knowing the percent abundance and the atomic mass of the different sulfur isotopes. And you would apply this same method to calculate the atomic weight of any element, assuming that you know the percent abundance of each of the isotopes of that element and the atomic mass of each of those isotopes. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.